Hey everybody, Agent Shades here, continuing with Alan Wake Remastered. Uh, if you're coming to this from the end of Alan Wake, um, then you might be wondering, well, okay, but what happened in that ending? <laughs> so, we saw that Alice got out of the lake, but what was all the rest of that? Where's Alan? What's going on with him? He's just creepily staring at a typewriter, saying something about, it's not a lake, it's an ocean. Um, so we have two additional episodes that were released as DLC to the original game that go into a bit of uh, just what the crap is going on with Alan. So we're going to dive into the signal, the first half of that uh, today, and we'll explore a little bit of that and find out what's going on with Alan Wake. Previously on Alan Wake, something I only know is the Dark Presence held my wife captive and used to a horror story that came true. I'll bring her back. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. There we go, a little bit of an explanation already. <laughs> In the previously After the on the completion segment. of any difficult undertaking, there are mixed emotions. Accomplishment and relief. Sadness, depression. For a while, everything was about the work. Like an illness that consumed you, changed you. You locked yourself away from the world to do it, and now you need to recover. Learn to live without it. Find a way to crack open the door and let the light back in. I knew this place. It was familiar. But wrong somehow. Welcome to the Oh, uh, what was that? <laughs> Everything had a surreal, dreamlike quality. That was disturbing. I can't believe I had a disturbing feeling of deja vu. I had no idea why I was here or where I had been before this moment. But something was waiting for me at the back of the diner. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when Do you... Do me a favor, Sonny! I could really use a tune right now. <laughs> Number six in the jukebox. Yeah, all right. I'd do it Try it again. Myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah, are you serious? <laughs> Again? <laughs> you disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about, yes! This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Alright, I've just added more distorted oddness to this scenario than there already was. <laughs> Yeah, I'm well aware of that by now, lady. All right. Let me into the bathroom. Aha! We've made it into the oh dear diner men's room. We could never get in here before. Ah, uh, something's wrong with the mirror. Alan, listen to me. Go no deeper. What? Focus. You're losing yourself. I will try to help the best I can, but it's up to you. Find a better point of contact. What do you mean? I cannot hear you. Please, you're the one making all this happen. Concentrate. This is what's happening. Nightmares. Too deep. Can't take the pressure. It's too much. Suddenly, Wake found himself face to face with himself. <laughs> At the sight of myself, the dream suddenly became lucid. The dark place. That's where I was. You will need weapons. Ah, thank you. Give me. It's not the Give light itself, but what it represents. You will need it. How about? Ah, yes. Good. Tom, this thank you. This is not a gun. It is a tool in a logical process of elimination. Yes, yeah, so it's a gun. <laughs> Be careful. I will try to find a better point of contact. Cool. I didn't understand Zane's message. And knowing where I was didn't fix anything. Something had gone wrong after I had finished departure. Mira was here. Okay, I don't know what Mira is. Mira was not here. Or here. Alright, let's get out of the bathroom and see 
what mischief we can get up to. Oh, oh. great. Now it's night time. You're not helping me, me. And what is with the camera up the eyeball? Oh, no. <laughs> Thought we were done shooting Taken when we exited the real world, but no. They are Taken in the dark place, too. And they do the same things they did in the real world. Hammer! Dodge, Alan, dodge! Now, right, let's check the kitchen for bullets. Uh, there's a collectible alarm clock. No new episodes of Night Spring in the interdimensional hellscape. But I can kick this. I see my powers of door disintegration hey! remain. Wait for me! Okay, uh, I guess we'll chase the light. The world had become twisted. These trees didn't belong here. Uh, okay, alright. No, 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 we don't need that. I'm gonna watch my battery usage. I have so many of them. Oh! This is one of those speedy guys that I'm down to one battery or two batteries. To use the flash very sparingly. Oh, I only have four bullets. I don't even think that's enough to kill this guy if I do get the light off of him. Or either the darkness off of him. I think it's running time! You. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Ah, we made it into the house, but there's no light in here, despite the fact that I ran through light to open the door. Um, I thought that would be a bit more helpful than it turned out to have been. We can't go upstairs, so ah, light. Here we go. Ah, more manuscript pages. I knew it was my writing, but the words were jumbled, dreamlike fragments. Reloading frantically, the rounds of slippery stone was thrown away from the tent. The bed looked inviting, but it was just the radio. I had to go on. She was startled by the phone. The GPS system was working. I hadn't expected that. Ha ha ha! Yes. Very funny. I can help you, but you are drifting deeper. I can't reach you. You must come to me. I can't maintain the connection. Use the words. Follow the signal. It made no sense for the GPS system to work. I doubted any satellite was in range here. These were alien skies, but it was guiding me towards something. Towards Zane? Alright. We'll follow our ghost GPS. Ooh. Thank you, yes. So, as it was in the climax, I can cover over words to summon things into being. And summon headaches, apparently. Give me my flashlight. Now, not everything that you can summon is helpful, so you've got to be a little bit careful about what you uh, bring into being. But in this room, at least, it all seems to be useful, so batteries, a new flashlight, a flare gun, stuff like that. Something had shifted again. The dark place was playing tricks on me. It wouldn't stay still. The town itself turned against Wick. 
cars flew toward him. He cracked bone and crushed muscle. Uh. He used hate. I wanted to bury him. Stop helping. Just, just, you know, take a nap and let me handle things. Oh, great. Oh, all the cars are Boulder guys. No, thank you. Oh, ow. Uh, get off me. <laughs> I couldn't even dodge that. It just like landed on me and then kept crushing me. <laughs> Something had shifted again. All right. The dark let's try that again. With out me. getting killed. It wouldn't stay still. Yes, yes. Itself. Let's move before the that Cars flew triggers the car attack. Nope, nope. The car attack is not triggered by that finishing. It's triggered by walking close to the cars. All right. So it's not all the cars. It's just those two cars. They just move the rest of the cars. Definitely dodged. I think I dodged too much. There's another car for cover, and there's another evil car. The school bus came to life. Let's use the lamppost as anti car cover. Okay, that's not going to work much longer. The school bus got around the lamppost. That was close. Oh, great. More cars. I'm trying not to waste all my batteries. I have far fewer of them than I did during the main storyline. Alright. The GPS leads into... Dreehan Tools and Hardware. And a missing poster for Alan. What does it say? Have you seen this man? Okay, yeah, nothing interesting other than the fact that that one is missing. Let's get some tools. Flare, battery, shotgun ammo, and a shotgun. Perfect. I hate it when they come at you from both sides. The camera draws your attention to one thing, and then uh, you get from behind as well. It's really hard to keep up with enemies when they come like that, which I'm sure is the point. Ow! Out of shotgun shells immediately, but we survived that encounter thanks to them, so I won't complain. <laughs> the battery recharge and move forward through the hallway. Everything of I saw was familiar, and yet it wasn't. Hello, astute observation. Hour. You're going too deep. I will try to guide you. Follow the signal. I am following the I'm signal. Trying. It's leading me deep. system was supposed to lead me to Zane, but the ships were interfering with it. I had to keep trying. I wouldn't survive alone. How do I... I don't really know where I'm supposed to go to follow the GPS signal. Am I supposed to go up here? And then jump over the fence? This Ooh. seems correct. The changes were becoming more violent. The street wasn't so much ripped apart as it was missing. Like some great hand that reached down and Everything felt erratic, unstable. Okay. Thought I saw something else bounce, but maybe it bounced off the edge. Let's reload that. Get some flash and some flare. Flash bang, red flare. Oh, another flare. And a standee of Sarah Breaker. Can I bring this with me? 
Sarah Breaker, Bright Falls' finest, this red-hot cock chick with the lightning-fast boomstick. Her debut book, The Only Girl in the Bookhouse, delves deep into the double life of having a successful law enforcement career while being involved in a secret society. How does Daddy's Little Trooper fit into an old-fashioned fraternity? That's interesting. I don't think I noticed that the first time that I played this game. Uh, and it potentially has ties to another game that Remedy made not too long ago. Uh, I mean, it's kind of obvious because the only other game they've put out recently is Control. But uh, I don't want to give too much of that away. So if you've played Control, there's some connection. Or at least painted connection. I don't know, maybe I'll play Control on here. That's a good game. Oh, here come the birds and these guys. No! Both birds and bozos. Combination of birds and boots is very good. No, that wasn't what I meant to do, but okay, I'm gonna use the last of my flares accidentally. And then I'll do what I meant to do. Just give myself some breathing room. Random flares want to pop into existence for me? I might actually get my wish. I see the word tools here. Why did that hurt me? Alright, at least I got two flares. I have plenty of shotgun rounds now. And by plenty, I mean eight, but you know. Is what it is. Health pool, excellent. Clicking is kind of disconcerting. Sally, where are you? Look, I I'm trying to follow your goddamn signal. <laughs> the dark place is playing tricks on you. You're still going deep. I'm trying to guide you, but it's hard. What is this? I can help you if you just stop sinking. What? This is bullshit. It's happening again. Brace yourself. I was running after Zane, and he was telling me I was going too deep. It was ridiculous, but I was more scared than amused. I felt like I was being hindered by an unseen force in ways I couldn't fight. All I could do was keep going. Oh, no, no, go away. I said we had plenty of shotgun ammo. <laughs> Memory. I don't see Barry. Look, wait, maybe that's him. That's the way to the chopper. I remember this. This happened before we found Barry. Can I have a memory, Barry? Who wakes pathetic memories of the Wonder Years and the contrary little boy pretending he didn't miss his father he never knew. He surged up and beat right down, staring around in slides, eager to cave in his head. You are very unhelpful. Ah! What the? Ah, <laughs> I don't like this dark place. 
Everything here is wiggly and evil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just bring them the worst thing to life so I can kill it. Yeah, come on, hurry up! Oh, I have to go trigger it, don't I? Alright. It's so hard to dodge both guys. Like, the timing of when you dodge is so unclear. Burn, evil fish rocket thing. Oh! So you use the tree to protect me from doom slide. I make that sound a lot playing this game. <laughs> Stop gatekeeping me, darkness. All right, the church. Any new church events in the dark place? Oh, there's a charity bake on October 3rd. If only we can survive long enough to get a cupcake. Can't bring gun oh, I can't bring concealed guns. So, as long as I keep the gun openly I worn, I can take it to church. Open. <laughs> oh, here we go. More poltergeists. Bottom half of a deer is trying to kill me. Yeah, that two for one damage special. Guys, stay away from me. I need to recover enough health to survive. Oh, the truck? Seriously? Oh, there's the. to protect me from the deer tree. Let's go get the deer. Hey, Sarah! I'm gonna give Pastor Howard a piece of my mind about this lock. I told him to get it fixed. Thank you. Can you open the door? Wait, cool. I got the door open. Run! Thank you. Tools. Creepy candelabra to be in a church. Welcome to Sunday service. Brother Jimmy has volunteered to man the gibbet today. Ah. Uh. Oh, wait, there was a crypt in this church, wasn't there? It was changing, twisting, uncontrolled. Let me just turn you off. It was too big on the inside. He couldn't see the ceiling. Something was moving in there. He was lost. He couldn't find the exit. Asshole. <laughs> My feelings exactly. The shifts were getting more severe. I wasn't sure if the place got bigger or I got smaller. Oh, okay, this is what I'm talking about. Was I don't want to point the flashlight at those words because it's going to set off the uh, my own. Like a blast out of the side of the furnace, which could be useful if there's an enemy standing in front of it, but I don't want to set it off in front of myself. So, like here. You do that, and that's very helpful. But it's also very easy to blast myself with if I'm not careful with my flashlight discipline. Got him. Okay. I gotta be careful. 
I think I caught myself in a little bit of the next furnace right before I uh, killed that guy. It's like I dodged into the furnace blast trying to get away from Hammer Guy. Actually, I'd quite like to blow things up right now. Have fun. Enjoy the fun. How many furnaces does this church need? Alright, we'll just sneak eater my way out of here and we'll call it a day. Zane left me a page. He was trying to help me. And then Alan found the page, and the page bit him, and then the trees tried to come to life and hit him. It was great. Hey, bestseller. What do we got here? Oh, wait, no, scream. I don't want to summon a scream or a tremor. Can I have a friend? Barry! Awesome. Barry? Hey, bestseller! Looking good! You... you... you're not real. Well, no shit. What gave me away? What, the see-through thing? I'm a figment of your imagination. Just like pretty much everything else you see here. Maybe even you. That's insane. Yeah, you're right. Everything that happened before made perfect sense, but this is insane. Good catch, Al! Okay. Okay, look. I gotta get going. The GPS... The GPS, yeah, I know. Follow the signal. Got it. No, oh, well, I guess that was all. Oh, no, there he is again. So, anywho, I'm here to help you out, pal. The thing is, you need to get a grip, all right? You nag the way the real Barry does, you know that? Well, hey, you know, be fair. It's not my fault you think I'm annoying. <laughs> I don't think you're annoying. Ow, baby, relax, it's cool. Just try to stay on the ball here. You need to do what Zane tells you. He's been here for ages, he's like the expert. Okay. I'll keep following the signal. You can't, anyway, like, fig me up a gun, insane, can you? And it's all from your mind? What's that say about you? Fine. Enough. I can't believe I was actually happy to see you. Oh, come on. Don't shit a shitter, Al. Deep down, you're always happy to see me. You can't lie to yourself, you know what I'm saying? I must be a sucker for punishment. <laughs> you? No. Really? And I always thought you went out of your way to avoid trouble. Thanks. Thanks for that. Recharge. We'll take a few extra batteries. I think the signal's pointing towards that thing in the distance. Yeah, that'd be the Biltmore Sawmill. Oh, How wonderful. How do you know that? I don't know anything you don't. So why don't you ask yourself that? Huh? Maybe you saw a sign for it back in the real world, or maybe it's the sawmill, because I said it's the sawmill, and now you can't get it out of your head. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, sure has given me a headache. Or is that your headache? Do you have a headache? Barry. Dude, we're bonding. <laughs> uh, I like Dream Barry a lot. Here, why don't you go explore this giant boom? Yeah! All right. That was better than I was expected. It's raining bullets. Shadows and ghosts and moths slicing through 
Oh, wonderful. Back away from the writer. Coming. Can't sneak up on me, ghosts. Okay. I think we're clear. Uh, is that going to be fireworks as an explosion or fireworks as in flares? I'm just. Gonna... But I did that. I revealed a bunch of enemies and blew the darkness off of them. Accidentally winning. 